What is up guys, Sanders here, welcome to episode 8 of FPT, the series where your favorite YouTubers features their favorite piece of tech. So without further ado, let's get started. What is up guys, Armando here for Armando Bytes, and my favorite piece of tech that I've been using this year has to be the camera that I'm filming this video with, which is the Canon C200. It is one of the most amazing cameras that I've ever used. It pretty much checks all the marks that I've been looking for in a cinema camera. For example, I can shoot internal raw. What that means is if I need to change the exposure, the white balance, the tint values, in post-production, I'm able to do that. Take for example this shot that I purposely overexposed. If you look at it, you will say, no way, this is unusable. But with RAW, I am able to take the exposure all the way down and recover this shot, which is pretty amazing. The other thing I love about this camera is the dual pixel autofocus. So if you're a one-man band, or if you're doing a lot of run and gun shooting, this camera has amazing autofocus. Whether you're tracking a face, an object, it really doesn't matter. It locks on and it pretty much works much better than anything I've ever used. The other thing I like about this camera is that it has two built-in XLR inputs. So for example, I have my microphone hooked up directly to the camera, so the sound you are hearing is coming from my microphone piped in directly to the camera, which has really great preamps, so you're gonna get really crispy audio. And finally, one of my favorite features that you don't really see a lot of cinema cameras have is built-in ND filters. So ND filters are like sunglasses for your camera, which means basically Basically, if I ever need to shoot something outside, it's really bright, I don't need to thread on a filter onto the lens, I can just literally push a button and pick what ND filter I'd like and I can get this really shallow depth of field. Now I did a whole video on the Canon C200, if you guys are interested in looking at that, I'm sure there will be a link down below. I want to thank Anders for having me on his channel and if you guys like tech stuff, filming, check me out, I'm sure there will be a link down below. Hello guys, it is Francesco from the Keep Productive YouTube channel um, and this is Happy on 4. It's a great honor to be back to share some of my favorite piece of tech. So uh, my sort of favorite piece of tech comes in sort of two parts. The first part being uh, the Apple keyboard. Uh, I can't really demonstrate it in vision here. Uh, but the Apple keyboard is one of the most uh, useful additions to my workspace. I've recently added it, mainly because it helps me with my standing setup. Um, and it's great for sort of uh, not being able to touch a screen necessarily when I'm home. Uh, I also got the Apple Trackpad 2, uh, the Trackpad 2, um, which is in, again, space gray. Both of them are space gray. They look great, work great on Bluetooth, have really strong battery life. I've only charged them once in the two, three months that I've had them so far, and they've been a great addition, especially if you've got standing desk. Those are my recommendations. Again, Apple ones, Apple add-ons, Apple accessories, but they have been absolutely awesome for my own personal setup. If you want to add me on YouTube, my YouTube name or our YouTube name, the community is Keep Productive. We do software reviews that will give you insight into the best softwares for you guys to go away and download. Anyway guys, really excited to have you. Thank you Anders for having me again, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. What's going on guys? My name is Josh Haynes and I love filmmaking. I put out weekly videos that are all about photography, editing, any kind of filmmaking, anything like that. I am all about it. My favorite piece of gear recently has been the GVB Gear PL12 Pocket Light. This thing is amazing. So this little light comes with a USB cable, a phone mount that attaches the light to it and grips your phone on it. It's also got a cold shoe, the cold shoe adapter, so you can pretty much attach it to anything. It also comes with a CTO gel and a diffusion that is magnetized on there, which is brilliant brilliant. It's got an on and off switch on it. It has three indicator lights that shows you your battery where it's at and when it gets down to the bottom when it starts flashing. On a full charge, this thing has lasted me about an hour and a half. You don't realize how much you need this light until you're in a pinch and you need that little kicker in the background. You need that hair light. You need something that maybe it's just a key light. Maybe you're out vlogging and you need it. You know what? This light has got you. I always have this thing in my bag and I forget that it's there because the footprint is so small. And then when I'm out and about and I'm like, crap, I need that extra lighting, maybe I'm in a car, maybe I'm out shooting in a hotel, maybe I'm on the road, whatever it is. And then I realized this little guy's in there and it's ready to go. So hands down, this has gotta be one of my favorite pieces of gear. I love this light. It is a lifesaver when you need it. If you guys wanna actually win one, click on my channel down below, get over there, I'm giving one away. You know, follow the rules and you guys can maybe win this. And then your pocket will forever be filled with a light because it's a, it's a pocket light, pocket light. 
Yeah. Hey, what's up, Fury Pixel fans? My name is Kevin the Tech Ninja, and Andres told me to talk about my favorite tech that I have right now. And this one may not be a surprise for many people, but I love my iPad Pro. And the reason behind the iPad Pro is that I can use this to be the best tool possible for me, whatever I wanna do. And let me show you some examples of how I use it. All right, first of all, I have everything laid out in different categories at the top of my screen. Productivity, smart home, shopping, photo, video, social, and games. So no matter what I do, the iPad it makes the best companion for doing it. When I'm on the couch hanging out, I can surf the web using their web browser, or I can just play a quick game too. And also, I just love it for the smart home capability. As a, a person on my channel, I talk about smart home all the time. I have tons of different bulbs, and being able to control it right here in one spot is extremely nice to do. So check this out. I have full control over my lights in down here. I can do all sorts of things with it, and all this is controlled with my iPad, which is very nice to do. I can control almost every single light in my house, whether it's downstairs in the basement or upstairs in the bedroom. I can control pretty much everything I want here. Also with Nest, um, I have my thermostat, have all my cameras, so this actually just becomes a hub of my whole house, uh, just a hub of everything. I watch TV on here using the YouTube TV app, so whatever I wanna watch, I can instantly click on it and start watching in just a few seconds too. So everything I wanna do with, with anything in my life, I do it with the iPad. I also have the pencil too. And also with the Apple Pencil, I can then use this to draw, to write, because drawing to me sometimes helps you get your point across a little bit easier, a little bit easier to write different ideas and things like that. So I like having the ability to do that too. So I can just pop into a project right here and I kind of sketch, sketch some ideas of things that I'm looking for. And the pencil is extremely responsive to anything I write, anything I do. Um, and that's sort of why I like my iPad. I know it's not really a sexy idea, it's not a sexy product, it's not nothing new and exciting, but if I'm being honest, this is what I love to use, and this is some tech that I can't live without because it replaces a lot of things. To me, it replaces a computer, for the most part, obviously editing I'm gonna do on my main computer, but uh, it replaces small computing items, online banking, um, working on video, well, looking at videos, looking at photos, and anything like that when it comes to consuming media, and generating light media, controlling my social media feed, all that stuff is done with my iPad. Anyways guys, thank you so much for having me on this video, Andres Fury Pixel. Thank you so much for inviting me, and if you guys like tech between smart homes and smartphones, make sure you follow me on my channel, Kevin the Tech Ninja. I'll talk to you guys later. For this episode, my favorite piece of tech is the HD830 external hardware from Adera. As you know, when it comes to data, there is nothing more important to make sure that it's protected, especially when you are traveling. And in my case, this hard drive is completely what I need. The HD830 is built in a tall aluminum exterior that protects the hard drive from drops and blunt force. I don't need to be worried about any nasty weather surprises since it is waterproof, dustproof, and shockproof. Something that you should know about this hard drive is that it can withstand a pressure of 3000 kilograms, so it is virtually indestructible. And the hard drive's design features an armor-like covering that looks super cool. And that's all for this episode of Favorite Piece of Tech, my friends. Let us know in the comment section below which piece of tech is your favorite and why. Thanks a lot to all the great YouTubers who's joined me on this episode. I will leave you their social media linked on the description below. If you like the video, don't forget to give that thumbs up, subscribe and smash that notifications bell on that way you won't miss any of our future videos and content. And if you want to support the channel, don't forget to take a look to our Patreon page where you can get exclusive media and more. My name is Sanders, see you next time.